Hey everybody, it's Dr. Steve Hoffman, founder of the Core Wellness Institute, back with another episode of Core Wellness TV today, Q&A coaching edition, okay? And today I'm going to talk about a comment that I got on the YouTube stretch where I talk about the, uh, the piriformis stretch for uh, sciatica, back pain and sciatica, that's what it's called, and it's that you can do anywhere, anytime, that not only stretches the hip muscles to keep them flexible and mobile, but also to use the same stretch to also activate the deep hip muscles that often get neglected and lie at the root of a lot of pain syndromes and poor performance issues. But before I get into that, I want to make sure you know that the Core Balance Institute coaching course is changing, okay? Uh, no longer after a week from today, today is March or uh, March uh, 13th, 2014, on March 20th at midnight, 2014, that's Thursday, March 20th, 2014, no longer will I be including three months of the direct access coaching uh, included in the price of the course. So if you're interested in coaching, you're going to be interested in the button below. If you're interested in getting access to my advice, being able to find me in the comments on the course site and, and give me your individual concerns and have me answer them, the ability to call in and actually talk to me or through video Skype twice a month. You get up to 10 minutes of speed coaching on video Skype. Uh, and there's all kinds of other things that are going to be coming out new when we relaunch this. Actually, the course will be actually closing uh, for a period of time while we rechange some things in the back end of the infrastructure and the pricing and such. So if you're interested in coaching and you're on the fence, do it now And because I'm also adding an additional three months. So in addition to the three months that you normally got as a bonus, you're going to get an additional three months. So you're going to get six months of coaching for free as a bonus when you enroll in the course. Okay, that's $582 worth of personal coaching. Okay, of course that's not, pri it's private with the Skype part of it where you can talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, but in, normally you, you leave comments under the video post, you have a question, and I re-comment back right in there. And so today is going to be an example of what one of the, some of the things we're going to do in the coaching program coming up, and that is I'm going to do Q&A highlights whenever someone has a question that really needs a good visual explanation. I'm going to pick that out and do just like I'm doing today. So back to today's schedule. If that interests you and you want to get involved in the course in the coaching program, check out the button below and uh, it may not say on the page that, that it takes you to that you get the additional three months, but you get the additional three months. You get six months of my keeping me on retainer. All right, so enough of that button down below for that. Today's content, uh, a YouTube comment about, uh, hey, I, you know, how about an alternative to this piriformis stretch if I've had a hip, hip replacement? Ah, so if, you, if you've had, ever had a hip replacement or anybody who has ever uh, known someone who's had a hip replacement, they're not allowed to, at first at least, to go do too much external rotation for fear of the, the, uh, the new hip to pop, kind of popping out of place out the back. And besides that, you just don't have that much mobility to begin with. So here is a great solution, not only if you have, uh, have had a hip replacement, but if you just got, uh, you know, general limitations of hip mobility, period, okay? So here's how we're going to do it. And you can do this anywhere, anytime, and everyone will benefit from this, and also because it's going to wake up your deep hip stability muscles. First thing is, you turn on your core, right? You turn on your brace. Preferably do it through breathing. Hands here, and you create some pressure. 360 degrees, your breath comes out into your center, okay? That's first. So you've got your core engaged. You, you have the pressure around your center. Your, con your intra-abdominal system is pressurized, right? Then we're going to tail out, okay? We're going to tail out, just like this. If you have trouble with understanding what that means, put your hands here, make a crease, right? Make a crease, tail out. Hip hinge, we've talked about that many times on the blog and we talked ton, a ton about it in the course. Get your hip hinge on, right? So there's your hip hinge. Now you're here, and you're hip hinged, and your knees are soft. You're not going to lock back here. Your knees are soft, and all we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to do a very simple reach. That's a reach and pull. Here we're going to pull, and here we're going to reach. Okay? We're going to pull, 
and we're going to reach. The pull activates the backside. Watch this. The pull is going to activate this side and connect it to my shoulders. But your shoulder is going to connect to the hips, and that's going to turn on the deep core system. Okay. And at the same time, on the opposite side, we're going to reach as far as we can, and that's going to give you that stretch through here. Okay, it's going to give you that stretch through the external rotators of the hip, and it's going to give you a similar stretch to what you would get with the seated hip stretch. So, some pointers about this. I'm going to kick off these abominations. Okay, the first thing is you want to get all three pillars on the floor. One, two, three. Base of your heel, base of your big toe, base of your little toe is connected. All three points are connected. Why is that important? Because whenever you whenever you reach, you don't want you don't want this side turning up on its side because you're not going to get the same stretch in that back hip. If you plant your pillars and then reach through, you're going to get a much better stretch through the back side of the hip. So keep all three pillars on the ground both sides. Okay? So we talked about that. Now, the other thing is to, in order to activate those deep muscles of the hip, it's important to turn on the intention of pushing away from these three support points. Here's what I mean. If whenever we reach, all we have to do, because I'm, if I'm pushing away, I'm basically going this way, right? If I'm going to reach this way, or what's all, what, what is that also, really? That's a throw if you're in sports, that's you, if you're skipping a rock, that's, uh, it's, it's shoveling, <laughs> right? It's life. Life is rotation. Life is rotation, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to find those three pillars. You're going to put your brain in contact with those three points. What's the, what's the rule of the core wellness rule for posture, right? To get to your core, reverse CPS now, all that stuff. What do we do? We find our support points. We can become in tune with them, and then we have the intention of pushing away from them. When I have the intention of pushing away from those three points in the direction which w whatever way I want to go, right, I'm automatically going to turn on my spiral of power, that external rotation spiral. That's where all, all of our power comes from. That's what keeps us young, strong, and vital. Remember what happens to us as we age and get, or as not, not as we age in years, but as we build up stress over years, that stress draws us inward and we lose our ability to externally rotate. Okay? That's one of the things that happens. So, the intention of pushing away as you reach. Okay? The intention of pushing away as you reach. And my recent hip injury, I've been using this a lot lately because I pulled my hamstring really badly playing basketball over Thanksgiving uh, in, at the end of the year last year in 2013. And I've been <laughs> rehabilitating this. I've finally got myself back to where I can be athletic again because I'm practicing this. When I go to the park and when I, when I jog and when I walk and when I hike, I pay, make sure I pay attention every time I take a step. I will turn, boom, right? Also called the snagglepuss hip exercise, right? Exit, stage right, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm dating myself with my cartoons, but snagglepuss, right? You always have that, you wind it up, get the stretch into it, and then take off, right? Now, with a strong takeoff like that, that's when you would actually use your big butt muscles, your glute muscles to push, but I'm not asking you to do that right now. I'm just asking you to get the feeling of pushing away. I don't want you squeezing your butt muscle here, okay? I don't want this big squeeze here. I want your deep system to turn on because like in my last video I did at Charlestown Park, we talked about all the benefits of turning on the deep system. I'm not going to go into them all. But when your deep system's on, the big muscles on the outside can relax and your brain gets flooded with input and information which blocks pain, increases coordination, all right? So, and increases efficiency, right? When you're more efficient, you, lace, you waste less energy, and you have more energy at the end of the day to go play with your kids or do whatever you want to do, right? So, uh, that's it, guys. That's it. Um, I'm going to tail out. One of my coaching students called this the uh, wag the tail or dragon wagging the tail. You can 
correct me on that if I'm wrong, David, <laughs> right? Tail or dragon wags tail or something like that in a in a uh, Qigong practice that he that he teaches. But can you see that wagging the tail back to back, back and side? If I had a if I was if I had a big tail, I'd be wagging side to side, right? I'm not twisting in my spine. Everything's happening in my ball and socket joints of my hips. The ball and sockets are where all the magic happens, guys. If you keep the ball and socket joints mobile, your hips and your shoulders, then you're going to overload the rest of your tissues a lot less. So I'm out. If you're interested in the coaching, make sure you get on that before March 20th at midnight, right? And I'll see you guys. Have an awesome day. And if you have questions, comments, leave them below. And I get to as many as I can. I always read all of them and, and try to answer as many as I can when you're here at the blog. If you're on YouTube, make sure you go back to the blog for interaction. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye-bye.